Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I know what you're all thinking. What the fuck? Where were the videos for the last however many months of quarantine? Your girl has been lazy. I can't even come up with an excuse anymore. I literally just do this whenever I want and hope for the best. So as you guys probably saw from the title, we are doing an ASOS clothing haul slash review. Basically, it just sells all kinds of different brands along with its own ASOS brand clothing, as well as shoes, accessories, you know, all that kind of stuff. Basically just fashion in general. I don't really have an extensive summer wardrobe just because where I live, winter is the dominating season. Since it was the end of summer, I was like, oh, I was just gonna buy, you know, whatever was on sale in terms of shirts and shoes and accessories and so on and so forth. Without any more blabber, I'm going to move on and talk about the clothes that I got. I bought the ASOS Design Super Crop Bandeau with ruching in black. So it's basically a black bandeau top. It has a little bit of ruching along the sides. I thought this was, you know, a neutral purchase. The only reason I bought this was just to wear as like a layering piece. I like wearing jackets and stuff on top. It actually ended up being a lot better fitting than I thought it was going to be. Um, so I might actually wear this just on its own, you know, with a pair of shorts or jeans or something. It was actually really, really cute, uh, fit really nice, hugged my chest pretty well. Another thing to note, I also got everything in a size 8. Um, it was a little bit loose for a size 8 for me, um, but I mean it fit well. I think I'm going to wear or get a lot of wear out of it. And I might actually go in and buy another one in a smaller size. But for now, this works great. The next item I got was the the ASOS Design Crop Cami with Square Neck and Low Back in Black. I also got this in a size 8, and this was really, really cute, and I really, really liked it on the model on the website. But when I put it on, it fit really nice around my, like, ribs and my chest area. But for some reason, these sleeves are, like, bogusly long. And I don't know if I'm supposed to wear this so low down my, that my cleavage looks like it's touching my belly button. I really don't know. Just, I freaking loved the square back and I loved the square front and I thought it was really, really cute and super promising, but these sleeves were out of whack. Like, I could pull the sleeve and it could just drop right to my elbows. Like, it was just not fitting right for some reason. And it was really disappointing because I absolutely love this, but I don't think I'm going to be keeping it. The next item that I got was the ASOS Design Hourglass Tank with Sexy Square Neck in back in black. So this was really cute. I, I liked it a lot. Um, it's just a basic black top that I was planning on wearing underneath things and layering things. And you'll see in the clips that I have of me trying it on for the next item that I did do that. And it looked really cute. I like that it's a pretty secure top. It's not super see-through. The material was not what I expected. I thought it was going to be more cottony than it was, but I didn't really read the um, product description. It said that it was 95% cotton and 5% spandex. The spandex is definitely coming through. It's a stretchier, kind of like a, a little less breathable of a material, which, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but... I could see myself sweating a little bit in this if I wore it out. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to wear the hell out of it probably because I love basic black tops like this and I love just pairing them with, a, with some jeans and a cardigan or a denim jacket or whatever. It's just very versatile and I can wear it wherever. The next black item I got was actually my favorite piece out of everything I got. It is the ASOS Design Petite Longline Fine Knit Cardigan. So it took me a long time to realize that petite actually didn't mean that you had to be 100 pounds soaking wet to wear the clothing. It just means that it caters to short people. So I was very happy to try on some petite clothing because this cardigan fit me so freaking perfectly and it hit really nice on my wrists. It, have, it has these um, puffy sleeves that are just very flattering. It hits at a really nice spot on my waist. It covers me enough. There are no buttons, which I really like because I don't, I never button my cardigans. I don't, I'm not that type of person. I like more of a loose, relaxed, casual look. And this one just gave me that. I think it's a really cute, just fall, summer into fall kind of outfit. It's perfect for just a light little bit of wind. And honestly, it's actually really, really soft and cozy and it doesn't hurt my skin. It doesn't itch or anything. So I highly recommend trying this one out. It is 
my favorite piece of clothing that I think I got for the fall in general in my life. <laughs> Now moving on to the whites. Sadly, the whites were very disappointing. I hate wearing white. I think it is just a very unflattering color for people with curves. And this proved it. <laughs> white usually ends up being a lot more see-through. The material is very unforgiving. You have to be fairly straight up and down to really pull off white, for me personally, in my opinion. And um, so I ended up getting the Stradivarius asymmetric top in white. This looked so fire on the model and I love asymmetrical tops. I love tops that like are off shoulder, off the shoulder. You can wear like just with a pair of jeans and they're really cute. But this material was not it fam. It was 97% polyamide and 3% spandex. I don't even know what the fuck that is, but basically this is scuba material. It's like a swimsuity material. Oh my god, like if I just like hold it up, I don't even know if you can tell, but you can like see my hand all the way through. Like, I think it's because I have the light, but look at that! Oh my god, you can see the outline of my whole ass hand. I was so freaking disappointed with that. My nipples were out for the world to see, and not just my nipple. Like, I wish it was my nipple. My whole ass areola was fucking peeking through. I could not wear this in public and not be like hunted down. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I was extremely disappointed. Like, even just this, like, I, you probably can't see it on camera, but I can see the whole tag through the shirt. It was not good. I was not happy. And I was really excited for this, too. I really love these off-the-shoulder tops, but you know what? You win some, you lose some, but that one's going back. The next white item I got was the ASOS Design Hourglass Organic Cotton Crop Bandome Top in white. This was also the same kind of deal. It was extremely revealing. My nipples were just out for the world to see. And it was actually, even though I got this in a size 8 also, it didn't really fit that well. It was a little bit big. So I'm kind of like disappointed in this one too in a lot of fronts. But I didn't get this to be like a standalone top. I got it to be an under top for the shirts that I'm about to show you now. And I think I might return this just to get it in a smaller size because I did enjoy it. It was comfortable. It did fit, or I shouldn't say fit. It didn't fit. It covered the areas that I wanted it to cover. Um, but I, yeah, I got it exclusively just to wear under things. So I would want it to be a little bit better fitting. Um, I did like how long it was. It did cover from like top of my chest to my belly button past my belly button so I did enjoy that and um, it looked really good underneath the clothing that I got it for so all in all I think it was a successful purchase I just would never wear this on its own no way in hell could you pay me to do that and now moving on to these funky tops that I got they are super super cute they were sheer I don't know what was going on with me I felt like a sheer moment but um, I think they were both from Stradivarius but I'm not entirely sure but this first one that I'm going to show you is the Stradivarius Ruffled Mesh Top in Blue Floral. Love it. It is so freaking cute. I got it in a size 8. No, I got it. I got this one in a large because it said that the large was a US size 8. Um, and I agree. I don't think I would have fit in this if it was a size medium, no way, shape, or form. Stradivarius, I have been to a Stradivarius store before and I think it just runs a little bit smaller than your average store but obviously all the UK stores tend to run smaller than the US because you know we are a little bit ugh, larger over here. I don't know if um, the light made it look like it was a lot more see-through than it is. There is a little bit of density to it so you can pull off the bandeau underneath and I personally liked it. I thought it was comfortable. The ruching was really cute at the front. I feel like if you had a bigger chest than me, it might push the material out a little too far and make you look like you're wearing a maternity top. My personal opinion, but I think it's really cute. It hits the waist really nice. I think it's just a lovely little purchase. And the cute little fluffy sleeves are just to die for. The next top I got, and yes, they are both Stradivarius, is the Stradivarius Ruffled Mesh Top in Blue Check. And this is just like a little checkered print. Um, white and blue mesh top. I love this one. It is literally the exact same cut as the other one I realize now, um, but it's just a different pattern. 
love it. I think it is so cute, so dainty. These types of tops are just like really cute to me and I love them and I think they are just like a nice thing to wear to like a picnic or out to brunch or whatever whenever this quarantine fucking lets up but I think this is a really cute summer piece and I would probably get a lot of wear out of both of these tops. The last colored top that I bought was the ASOS Design Wrap Top in Ditzy Print in Yellow and it's the top that I'm wearing right now. I really like this top. The material is a cotton, it's very stretchy. It is a wrap top, so you have to pretty secure it pretty tightly in order for you to avoid any like cleavage popping out. I don't really want to lose a titty here and there, but I feel like the fasten is pretty secure. So my only complaints that I have is that the hole where you would feed the wrap through is a little too big that it kind of looks like I have a ripped shirt. So I don't really know how I feel about that. The other complaint that I had was that the sleeves were also a little bit tighter than I would personally like. I do have thicker arms, so it does kind of um, make me a little bit more self-conscious, but I think it looks cute. It doesn't look bad. It's not sucking the life out of my arm. I just prefer a looser, flowier sleeve. I do really like this shirt, and I think I will be getting a lot of wear out of it because it's so cute and very secure. And it's just, it's very breezy too, so you're not going to get hot in the summer. So it's a win from me. Now moving on to the accessory pieces. I bought a few pieces of jewelry um, and shoes, a couple pairs of shoes, just to kind of like add to my extensive collection of jewelry. <laughs> I'm going to start off with the earrings. So the first pair of earrings I got was the ASOS Design Hoop Earrings with Rose Charm in Gold Tone. Love these. Personally prefer clasp hoop earrings or clasp earrings as opposed to like hoops that just have like a needle that sticks out and you put the backing to it. The design is really cute and dainty. I think it is extremely high quality for how much I paid. I was like damn like this is a steal. I will find myself wearing those earrings probably a lot in my future. Winter, summer, they're just very versatile. And as if I didn't love it enough, I bought the matching necklace. Um, it's the ASOS Design Necklace with Rose Charm Pendant in Gold Stone, in Gold Tone, sorry. Beautiful necklace. Hits just right on my chest so that if you're wearing a V-cut, it just fits really nicely. I think it's a beautiful detailed piece and I would highly re recommend this set. They just look phenomenal. The next pair of earrings that I got were the ASOS Design Earrings with Knot Stud and Pearl Drop in Gold Tone, and that's the ones that I'm wearing at the moment. Love them. They are extremely high quality. The gold knot stud part is a heavier material. It actually feels extremely sturdy, very secure. The pearl drop is very subtle, very short, but it adds like a nice elongation to your ear. I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing, but I like when my earrings are a lot longer than they are wide. So this is a nice dainty, long, elongating earring, and I personally love it. I think it's extremely good quality, and there's not really much I can say about it. It's an earring. It fits really nice. It's good quality. I don't, and I will wear it a lot. The next piece of jewelry is the ASOS Design Chakra Multi Row Necklace. This is a layered necklace. It's very thin, very dainty, very lightweight. The um, charms ended up being a lot smaller than I anticipated, but I kind of like that. I feel like this is a very versatile piece. You can wear it dressed up or dressed down, so I probably will get a lot of use out of this. Moving on to the shoes. I got the Glamorous Wide Fit Cross Strap Heeled Sandals in Rose Gold. This is also for my dress for the wedding, but these heels are so freaking cute. So they're not just like fully rose gold, they are actually a little bit metallic. And I don't know how to really describe it, but the shoes, the material is kind of a metallic that's a little bit flaky, so there's texture to it. I don't know how well it will hold up in time, but I mean, I'm probably going to get a lot of wear out of it regardless. The heel is a chunkier heel, which I will only wear because stilettos drive me absolutely nuts. I cannot stand having it digging into my heel. I have flat foot, so wearing heels that are broader are less impactful on my feet and they feel a little bit more comfortable. They're really cute, very comfortable, and super affordable too for a nice quality heel. I thought they were pretty well priced. The next pair of shoes that I got was the ASOS Design Wide Fit Fennel Leather Toe Post Sandal in Tan. 
Now these are just a basic sandal. I wanted some sandals. I have no sandals that are brown and cute and just strappy like that. But the only thing I have, if you have sensitive feet in the sense that your feet um, get strained from walking without any support, I would steer away from these shoes. They are extremely flat. You are on the ground if you wear these shoes. And I have duck feet, like I am flat onto the ground when I wear these. There are no support, but I like them. I personally don't care. I would wear these maybe to the mall or to brunch or something where there's a paved flooring. I would not wear this to the park. I mean, I don't know why you would, but I think that these are just cute little pieces to wear for like a short period of time if you are just going shopping or doing something with minimal walking, I would recommend these shoes. So that concludes my ASOS haul and review. I highly recommend you guys check out the website. There is a wide, wide variety of brands and sizes and cuts and all kinds of stuff that you can find on there. If you want things from wedding dresses and wedding gowns and um, wedding guest outfits, all the way down to your casual shorts and t-shirts. I think their shipping policy is extremely generous and I love that. If you spend enough money, they give you free overnight shipping. If you need to ever ship anything back, it is completely free. They get it and return your money in a very timely manner. I love their customer service. It's very quick responses. I even messaged them on Twitter and they were very polite, very quick to respond within 24 hours, if not less than 24 hours. I was very impressed and would definitely shop there continuously probably. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see sporadic video uploads because I know you do. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!